I'm working on another segmented turning project and I thought I would take a minute to show how I make my segments because I've noticed I've watched a lot of videos and sometimes the guys even though they have what looks like to be a wedgie sled they still don't get their uh, segment rings to come out exactly right and they glue them up into two halves and, uh, and then have to put them on a sander and I always wonder why they why they have to do that and then when I look close I see that they don't mark the lines that uh, I have on mine here and I'm going to talk about that here in just a minute. Here I'm going to take a sharpie and mark two lines on the strip that I'm getting ready to cut into segments. One line right here I'll put on top of the board and that will be what will be on the top of the segments and then I'll turn it on the edge and put a line down the edge and that's going to be the edge that I keep against the fence on the wedgie slit. Here you can see as I cut these segments that the line that I put on that back edge that always stays against the, the two fence on the wedgie slit it's sometimes on the inside of a segment and other times on the outside of a segment and that's real important to help me keep track of so when I get ready to put the ring together every other segment will be either on the inside or the outside and that makes up for the air that I might have in the degree on my table saw blade. The first step in setting up my wedgie sled is I select which wedge template I want to use and here I'm going to use a 16 segment 22 and a half degree and I want to get it firmly between the two sleds try to get it evened up here and then I'm going to tighten it down snug. Now it's important to have an accurate template I cut these myself on my CNC and I offer a five piece and a six piece set on my website but wherever you get the templates from just make sure that they're preferably made by a CNC so that they're nice and accurate. Once I get the segments cut, I just lightly sand them on a piece of sandpaper just here on my router table. And that way I get rid of any fuzzies that I might have so that they won't get in the way of uh, a tight fit. Okay, here's how I put the rings together. It's just a scrap piece of plywood with some uh, little nails nailed in here and I stretch out a rubber band. You can see here uh, that I've got uh, two rubber bands on here to dry fit these. And uh, even with this uh, old scrap plywood you can see that both of these rings uh, when I hold them up to the light there's no light at all shining through there and get a nice tight joint. And um, these are all ready to, uh, to glue up. If you look close at these rings, you'll notice that uh, the two lines that I marked on the, the strip of wood but before I was cutting the segments, uh, the, the top, all the top uh, pieces have the line showing up here. And then if you look close, and this is why I use a Sharpie because sometimes it's hard to see. You can see one there, there's a line, there's no line, a line, no line and so forth so it's like every other one and then out here again it's hard to see because I got the rubber bands on here but it's just you just make sure that it's every other one it's the line is on the inside and the next one it's on the outside so on so forth and that's how you can get the complementary angle so that even if your saw blade is off even a fraction of a degree by the time you do 16 segments you can be off a degree or two or or even more but uh, as long as you do them where you're putting the lines that you mark so that you're doing every other one as an inside cut or an outside cut, uh, that's how you can get these perfect segments with nice tight joints. Okay, one other little safety tip, or I consider it a safety tip, I guess, is if you made your wedgie sled exactly like... Uh, the Jerry Bennett design which I did uh, I believe it's uh, 14 or 15 inches this way by I think 12 inches this way and they call out for these holes to be uh, 4 inches on center here 
and I made it exactly like their plans and it gets a little tight in here when you're trying to put a, a wider piece so I have notched mine here and my safety tip is, is if you're figuring out your length of your segment and you take that times your number of segments and then you figure out you know three or four inches to hold on to uh, and you cut your strips like that always make sure you start out with the first cut up here on this side because if you start down here as your first cut you will finish down here and if you've done like me and you have this notched it's a lot harder to try to hold that piece steady when it gets down this short so you want that last piece that you're cutting to be up here because it's much easier because it's all straight right across here uh, and it's much safer in my opinion trying to hold it here than here so uh, if you've got 16 segments you're going to have 17 cuts the first cut being where you put that uh, you know you take the squared off in and you put it here and you put that first angle on there that would be cut one so then it would be two three four five six so on so forth and when you get to the 16th or 17th cut you're going to be up here where it's much safer and easier to hold on to that's going to do it for this video if you enjoyed this video or got anything out of it please leave it a thumbs up that really helps my analytics and if you haven't already subscribed to my youtube channel please consider doing so just hit the subscribe subscribe button below and also hit the little bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching.